we can rotate our animation set during the animation. For example, we need our jib from the screen to move from first position to the second position at 5 seconds and then back. Ok, let's try it. And first, let's make a new animation set. And let's do it another way. Let's try sets. And we have a jib set. Jib set, and you can see that when we press jib, we can choose the jib element. And now go to animator and then at the scene crane press right button and then add animation set and then from current selection search and set. Okay, now let's name it rotate. Okay, and as the previous one we need to make the keyframe capture it, but we should know that we are going to rotate something and we need central point and now central point is here. It's not the best way to have a, some kind of animation from this point. So we should move this point to the central, for example to this point. And let's press control button and hold it, press control and hold it, then press left mouse button and Relocate this gizmo to this thing. I think it's okay. Try to to position to where the very center. Okay, and now we should press keyframe again. And now Nemesis knows that. This point, this central point, is the basic one. And then let's change our time position to the 5 seconds. 5 seconds. OK. Not 50, but 5. And as you can see, we need to do this, to do this operation again. Let's press Ctrl button, hold it, and then press left button, and relocate this point to this place, very close to the very center. And let's make a keyframe. And now let's finally rotate our element. We can try this one. Then press left mouse button and then rotate it. And as you can see, something has changed here. And if you need to, to rotate precisely to present precise angle, we could do it like this one. You can only type degrees and now you know what have done. And again, capture keyframe and now we have a precise position. But let's try what we've just done. Let's go to the screen, the animation, let's press stop and play again. And now everything's OK. But in the end, something has changed. Because we didn't edit the final position for the second animation set. And let's do it. Go to rotate, go to 10 seconds. 10 seconds, OK, and then change the rotate to 0, 1, OK, and let's try this one. We only have to capture keyframe, and now we have all the line. Now lines are the same, but we have position to rotate our element in center, and let's try it. And now, as we can see, the first one and the final is wrong. Why is wrong? Because we have to change the position to the final point. Go there and press Ctrl button and the left mouse button here. 
and now press the keyframe. So we have to press keyframe after every of our editing something, after our changing. And now let's press stop and press play. And now it works.